What's kicking educational rock stars? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah from Farah Henley Education, where I strive to bring you actionable tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier. Now, if this is your first time joining me here on the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you get notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. Now, if you are a returning watcher, welcome back. And I hope that you are finding some time to get some rest and some relaxation this evening. It is hump day, and I know because I, I've heard from so many of you through DMs and emails that this year is just stressing you out. So I wanted to come on here tonight, and I wanted to share with you a few of my favorite games. Yes, I said games. Games are not a bad thing, but I said games because games engage your students. Kids love games, your students love games, and teachers love games. And I wanted to share three of my favorite games for practicing phonics skills. Now, before you go running, if you are a third, fourth, or fifth grade teacher and you're like, whoa, 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 um, maybe you're not used to teaching phonics if you're a reading teacher, or even maybe if you are a math teacher or another subject and you're like, oh, this isn't my, my subject area, trust me, these games can be played no matter what. Uh, what what grades you teach, K through five, these games can also be played uh, no matter what subject you teach because let's face it, we need to be helping out our fellow teachers and anytime we can use games for things like fast finishers or even um, maybe centers or, or as a reward, anytime we can do that, um, then it, it helps. It, it, trust me, it helps. It helps your students, it helps your fellow teachers. So don't worry, um, I'm going to be sharing with you specifically one game that I've got a freebie for you as well, so stick around to the end so you can grab that, and I will be dropping that link so that you can go grab that freebie. But let's go ahead and dive into my three favorite games to help with phonics skills. Now, you may be asking yourself, phonics skills. Okay, are we talking about like letters and sounds? Are we talking about words, how to blend words? Well, I'm talking about all of it. So there are some very fun games that I have always had kind of in my back pocket. And one brand new game that I'm going to be sharing with you that um, I've played with my own students, but I just never really turned it into something I could share with other teachers. So I'm excited to do that tonight. But um, I, there, I've played games for phonics and reading, and I've played those in kindergarten pre, or pre-K, kindergarten, all the way up through fifth grade. Because let's face it, some of our kids come to us in the upper elementary grades, and they are missing key phonics skills for their reading. And, you know, it, it may be something as simple as them being able to blend words. It may be something as simple as them... Um, not knowing some of the letter sounds correctly or how to use some reading strategies, all of those things. And don't get me started on our ELLs. I mean, how important is it if you are teaching reading to help your ELLs learn phonics? That is where the basics of reading come from. So a lot of times if I have a teacher reach out to me and they're like, hey, can you listen to a student of mine read? Can you um, watch this video or, or whatever it might be? Or they tell me, um, with words or with an email or something, um, what's going on in their classroom. And I either watch the video or I'm maybe there, I'm in person, I observe, whatever, and I listen. I Phonics is my jam, okay? And I can typically pick out very key things that I see students struggling with. And usually, nine times out of 10, it all comes back to phonics. And so I am gonna share three of my favorite phonics games for you tonight. Now, the very first game that I want to share with you, last week I shared three of my favorite math review games. And this particular game is one that goes side by side, one of those math games. It's a phonics version of that. And I have played this for years and I love it. And it specifically deals with the, the letter names and letter sounds. Okay. And again, this can be used kindergarten all the way up through fifth grade hopefully by fifth grade they know their letters and their letters and their sounds but if you've got a student who is ELL or you've got a student who has a special is special needs or you've got a student that's in special education or has an IEP or not I yeah IEP I apologize teacher brain um, then you might need to do some sort of intervention with these things and these would be perfect so um, that game is super speed 
letters, and phonics. Guys, this game is so much fun, and it is played very similar to Super Speed 100 or Super Speed 1000 that I shared with you with um, the uh, reading games and so are the sight word games and super speed math so i love this go check it out this is a game by whole brain teaching so you can go check it out on their website in fact i suggest and after we're done i'm going to drop the links here in the description the chat i'll, I'll drop them in the show notes um, i'm going to be giving the links to everything that i mentioned here so don't worry you don't have to run over there now but go over to wholebrainteaching.com or you can check it out in their Teacher Pay Teacher Store. And it is a free game that you can download. All the instructions on how to play, everything are in that download. So go check that out. It's Super Speed Letters and Phonics. And I absolutely love this game. Now, the second game I'm going to share with you, again, goes side by side. A game that I shared with you in the math games. And it is a game that I created. I invented this game. And it is one my students absolutely loved. And that is our phonics version of our soup, or excuse me, our squares your brain. I almost said super speed again. Our squares your brain games. Now, if you were not here, you didn't see the video last week, or maybe it was the week before. I can't remember. But if you didn't see that game, I'm going to link to that video as well. And you can go back and watch that um, for the math games. In fact, I encourage you to. But I'm going to show you a short clip of how the game is set up and played. And But you'll notice in the video it's a math game being used. But it's the same way that you set it up and you play it for the phonics version. It's just phonics instead of math, which is what I love about our Squares Your Brain games. Because once you teach them how to play, all you have to do is change the skill. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to teach them how to play every time. And they are going to beg to play. And now these are specifically geared more towards kinder and first grade. But again, if you've got that ELL or you've got that student who's struggling with some basic phonics skills, they could play these as well. So let me go ahead and bring that clip up. And you're going to see in this clip how they're setting the game up. They're getting all the little squares. And, and, and the game comes with all the pieces you need. It's easy to print. Instructions on how to assemble the game. So super simple. Takes you just a few minutes to print it and get it set up. And the student is going to put the tiles over the middle. Now, if they're playing single, you see they're just picking it up 1 through 12, and they're looking at the, the question underneath. They're finding the answer around the edge. If they were playing with two players, then they would roll two dice. They would add them together, and then they would find that square, um, and then they would do that question, and then they would take turns. Now, once they've got them all in place, they're going to scoot them just off the edge of the game, flip it over, and it is self-checking, guys. They are not going to be able to get any wrong answers and just say, oh, we got them all right, because they're going to have to check them. And the reason I love this being self-checking and the way that I set this up to be self-checking is the answer keys on the back of the game board. So when they're playing, they can't cheat because they can't see the answer key because it's on the back of the game board. They are going to have to wait to the end to see if they got the right answers and they can help each other along the way. So if you have not checked out our, C our Squares Your Brain Phonics, I again, I'm going to drop all those links um, down in the description so that you can go and check those out over in our shop. And they are super, super fun and super affordable for you to put in your classroom. Each set whether it's the math or the phonics, comes with 26 game boards so your students have an endless amount of fun. And they can play them over and over and over again. And I've used these in small groups. I've used them in centers. I've used them as fast finisher games. I've even sent them home as homework because they're so stinking simple. All you got to do is add some dice. <laughs> That's all you got to do. All right. So that is my second game that I absolutely love for phonics. And now... Without further ado, the third game that I absolutely love playing with my students is a game that you probably grew up playing as a child and never thought about making it a learning game. And maybe you have used it as a learning game in your classroom, um, but I have been using this game in my classroom and I just finally got around to actually making it a resource that I could share with all you guys. So again, Stick around because at the end, I'm going to drop in the description a link to this freebie where you can go grab this freebie and you can download it. 
And uh, this is my brand new, let me grab this real quick. This is my brand new slap stack. Now, you might have heard this and grown up calling this something such as slapjack. Anybody, can anybody played that game? Is it just me? Slapjack. So the premise behind the original game is that when students, or when you and another player, you have uh, a deck of cards and you deal them out to each other evenly, and then you start flipping one over at a time, and then when you get to a jack, it's who can slap the jack the fastest, and whoever is able to slap the jack gets to keep that stack of cards that's been played, and essentially they take them and they return them to the bottom of their pile. And the goal of the game is to collect all the cards, right? That's the goal of the game. Well, we have taken this and I've turned it into a phonics game and we have more of these coming because I have so many different sets of these that I've used over the years for different skills and we have more of these games coming, but I always called it slap stack. And here's why, because they are making a stack of cards, so they've got to slap the stack but two, they actually get to choose what the slap card's gonna be. So there are different ways they can do this. They can choose either one of the, an ace, jack, queen, you know, whatever they wanna do, or maybe there's a specific uh, word. It depends on which game they're playing because sometimes there's multiple copies of whatever the question is. So there's all different ways they can choose what the slap card is gonna be. Most of the time they choose one, one of the face cards. In fact, the, the instructions are set up to have them choose a face card, but they can choose a different face card every time they play, and it's played just like Slapjack. Now, this Slap Stack freebie is, uh, well, like I said, even we call it Slap Stack, but this Slap Stack freebie is a fun, engaging learning game. And again, we have so many different versions of this that we're gonna be getting ready and bringing to you guys, and I cannot wait to drop all of the different games that you'll be able to use this for. It is perfect for fast finishers. It is perfect for centers. It is perfect for um, a small group instruction. And again, it's one of those games you know here at Fairy Henley Education that I am all about keeping it stinking simple. And specifically, try to use activities that you don't have to reteach how to play them. Can I get an amen on that one? Seriously, when we have to take time to reteach how to play something or, uh, listen, Kids love routine, and I get this question all the time, but aren't they going to get bored of playing the same thing over and over and over again? Well, no, because when you find something that's engaging and you find something that's fun that they love, you can just change the skill, and they're going to enjoy playing it over and over and over again. So you are going to be able to grab this version of Slapstack. It is a CVC words, and you'll see how the words are listed on the cards right there on the image. We have them both for both players. And so when a card is laid down, one for this specific game, a, the player who laid the card down has to read the word. The player who is playing against them will read it silently to themselves to ensure that the, the player read the word correctly. But again, if they chose, for example, Jack to be the slap card, then as if they lay down a slap card, they have to read the word or both both players have to read the word at the same time and the first one to read it and slap it gets to keep the stack. Now, this game is played continuously until one player has all the cards. So you can see how this would be a game that just kept going and kept going and kept going. Who doesn't like games that just keep going? <laughs> they just keep going because they're not going to they're not ever going to be done so that they are then sitting there getting into trouble and with nothing to do. Like I said, you are going to be able to grab this game Check the links and you're going to be able to download this free version of Slapstack for you to use in your classroom. If you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life easier, check out the videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.